Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Observer. Now this time, fingers crossed, the audio will work absolutely fine, and we won't have any issues whatsoever. Probably famous last words, and I probably should touch some wood. Fortunately, my desk is wood. So, anyway, what we're going to do is, I suddenly remembered after the first episode, I promised to do a slightly longer recording for uh, this particular game, and that is exactly what I'm going to do this time around, now that I don't have to contend with any bad audio. So, buckle up, get comfy, go grab some popcorn, pause the video now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see where this takes us. Now we are uh, we know where, well, we know two people were looking for because they have the initials HN or NH, whichever way around it was. And um, we're still essentially just going around interviewing all the various individuals in the blocks of flats to see who knew our uh, number seven, whether or that is our son or someone else. But uh, let's just get on in it and see where this goes. So, we spoke to our person here who um, is, from what we can tell, blind. And all they can tell us is. Uh, oh, wrong button. Let's see if they're going to talk to us. KPD. Okay, these people will. like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. Oh, good lord, that's far too polite. You're hiding something, aren't you? You seem pretty laid back. You do now, the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? That's I mean, very rational sure thought. The authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? No, not exactly. I'm gonna just be up front. Well, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please. It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, what drugs you want, I want some. You're far too chirpy. Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. There's 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. One, you are 102. Okay, so this is a couple doors back. So, what kind of noises? What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I. I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. Wait, you mean you can hear them all the way from over here? Because, I said there are a couple rooms over that direction, and the chance of you hearing it? You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Uh -huh. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. So, who Did is this you woman? See where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? That's a bit Those strange. Don't can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? And now it's taking yeah, needle's quest. Biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! <clears throat> um... Dude, you need to calm down and stop being so much a stalker because, well, you know, women are attached to their needs. They can dress how they want and they're not doing it just for your pleasure at the end of the day, you know. That's just a bit messed up that you think that's the case. And you, even more so if you think she deserves whatever she gets to her just because of it. I mean, come on. Hmm. Okay, I guess the picture. Thanks for your input. Yeah, that's definitely one way of putting uh, it politely. I, yes, 
Certainly, officer. Um, right. So, 103, 10, where's 104 then? She's all the way over there. There's no way you could hear that without being, like, in the hallway or by her door. I mean, seriously. What have you got to say? Oh, you got something. KPD. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? It always sounds a little bit like Most me. Most likely weirdly. a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoo. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Uh -huh. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Sounds almost like, I mean, okay, there is the potential then, I suppose, they could have been arguing with A, either the door open, or B, in the hallway. But it sounds like 102 and 103 have a thing for this woman, which is uh, probably a little bit concerning. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. How do you know she works Any there? Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Oh, the words Worn out of my mouth. Fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I oh, that's she's on drugs or something. What about this man of hers? What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. Name okay, fair enough. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells yellow the eye? shit, too. How do you know that? What, the deal? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. Well, probably not at that time of night, but at the same time, you're, you're making a very bold assumption, accusation. I don't know how you'd word it at this point. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. Then again, ain't we all? No, I'm perfectly normal. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Okay. Animals. Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Sound Thanks. a bit of a dickhead, to be honest, Mike. <laughs> That's new. And the fact that you assume the janitor wouldn't be able to sustain a conversation. Eight, and also you didn't even... What animals could possibly go through here? I mean, growling. I mean, is that a dog or something? Uh, let's have a quick check. Do I need some pills? I need some pills. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Injected. Strain level decreased. 104. Why is that red? Okay, let's see what's happened here. Ah, the door is open. That's, um... Never a good Any sign. Idea? What was that noise? Did I just crush something? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, hard drive? Oh, nice. Another dead body. Wait, is someone alive? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I could hear breathing then. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. And yeah, I'm just sort of lingering over his body. That's good. Right, what happened? What happened here? 
I don't think he's ain't in a position to talk right now, if I'm honest. Um, help me find who did this. I'll try and get help. I don't think he's going to... Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to make it. I've just spotted his guts out. Right. Um, Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. What does that even mean? Don't try to talk. Oh, okay. There's another way. Oh, here comes... Here comes the uh, Ghost in the Shell moment here, by the looks of it. Alright, let's analyse your neural plant. Okay. Subject. Well, let's plug in. Commencing neural interrogation. Oh, that's not... That's not good. Right, well, we seem to be back in the guy. Huh. Uh, wait, what? Of course, I suppose the guy's memory could... Hey, be, baby! Did it any number of times. That's diff That's the hallway. Why? Wait, what? It sounds like we're worshipping a devil at this point. Let's, let's not go that direction. Let's. Oh. Wait. What? Can I, oh, I can go down here. That was weird. It wouldn't let me. What the hell is that being displayed on the screen? Amir, is that you? Oh, okay. This is not the same hallway. And there's a. I mean, this must be really messed. Huh. Not sure why that keeps going on and off. This guy's head must be all over the shop. Oh. That's a really horrid sound. Oh, good lord, that hurt my ears. Let's try that again. Nope, still can't go through that way. Okay. What about... Can I go back through the door? No, that's locked. Um. Huh. Where have I gone now? Wait. Can I go up here? No. Okay. So it's. Oh, wait. No, I can go up here. Oh, I can't. Why can't I not go up here? There we go. I had to crawl. Ah, of course. That makes sense. There's a window in the way. Or a box. Um. I feel sorry for the major if this is what happens in Ghost in the Shell. Okay, what about back at a dead end? What about in the fridge? Nothing in the fridge. Supposedly. And pigeons are killing themselves. Huh. Not sure what's going on there. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh, okay, it's that kind of game, huh? There a door? So it looks like there's a door there. Okay, so I'm just gonna persevere through the various pigeons. And I'm. Whoa, that was a bit trip. Whoa, what the? What? Where have I gone? Door here. Wait, 209? What? 98, wait, 987? What the hell's going on with the doors? 752. Some more devil worshipping, very good. Oh, hello. Thanks again. I should get me through the week. What for? Are you druggy or something? Okay. Right, your devil worshipping is a bit annoying. Let's close that. So, if that arrow is accurate, I'm going to go that way. But I don't fancy going that way just yet. Huh. 
Yeah, uh... Hello? Thanks. For what? Okay, well, nice doing business, I suppose. Vision's dying on me. Okay, maybe I should go the other way, because this seems to be leading me down a rabbit hole that I don't want to go down just yet, I suppose. It's very hard to tell, to be honest. Anna, I can't read that surname, email, unemployed, ready for disposal, ah, okay, so given there's a police tape there, I'm guessing she's dead, so, well she must be dead, I'm guessing, if she's in this guy's memory like this, unless for whatever reason he's assuming she's dead. That's the thing, you've got to bear in mind, we're in some dude's head, not a case of it's happening right now, as it were. Enough, man. I told you not to show up during the day. That's not the day, it's... That's going to take some getting used to. So we've got some more video over there. Nothing that way. A mainframe, by the sounds of it, considering the amount of noise it's making. Uh, and a floating bucket. Yay! Gotta love my bucket. Fuck it! Okay, broken tap, which obviously goes off when I'm near it. Like you do. Nice. Where am I going? What's causing the rumble? through the door. Um, wait, what? Did I just knock the door? Hello! Oh, Jesus. Not what I was expecting. I was half expecting to see someone on the other side, not just flying material. And I'm glitching out, and so is the light. Nice. What's with the thumping still? Uh, oh, that's a big dude. That's kind of what I was expecting to see. Not like that, when he's more like when he was by the door, I guess. Oh, that's really disconcerting how that feels like it's in my head. Ugh. Ugh, don't like that. No, please stop. Right. That's really weird sounds. Hi, TV. Where are you? Where am I going to be going? Anything this way? Anything in here? Thing is, I can't use it in my um, scanners. I mean, I guess it can make sense. I'm in the dude's head. Okay, so I've just done a loop. I'll do go that way. That's another loop. So, this way? No. I go. This way instead. No. Ah, hang on. They're showing that's the same thing. So it's this door. Ah, it's changing. Okay. The door with the light. Aha. This one. One with the panel on it. No. Uh, over here. Aha! This one. Oh, where am I going? Whoa, what the hell happened there? It started to like float. Hmm. This fucking slop again. Oh, the spoon has changed. That's never a good oh, idea. Soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. What soup? There is no soup. There sounds like there's a dude about to come bust through the door. And... Oh, okay, I'm gonna be trying to break free, I'm guessing. Oh, this can't be good. Yeah, we Oh, hello. Well, 
Where are we heading to now, dude? That was certainly one hell of a ride. Right. Why is this something that I'm not personally shopping? Oh. The hell? Okay, wait. Oh, so I'm actually the dude rather than actually I'm me anymore. What the? Oh, there's one, two, three. Oh, okay. We're out of that then. I'm guessing these are all prisoners. That's an officer who's obviously keeping me under. Oh, yes. I can see your hand. Huh. Move it along where? Where am I going? This way? Okay, apparently this way. So, I'm guessing this is what prison in those days on well, the future it has in store for us. Can I not follow you, I wonder? I mean, I'm perfectly within control, but I'm guessing you're not, you guys won't let me through. Oh, that's, um... Is everyone going to start reaching out for me or something? Person in there... Well, a couple of people in there. Oh, guy down there. Okay. This one is there. Oh. So. Okay, so now I'm in prison and heading back to my cell. I can smell you. No, you can't. You can't smell anything. It's not me. You can't prove it. Don't blast in here. Oh, right. Wait, rats. You saying I ratted on someone? Am I? Am I a snitch? What I was gonna say. That's a bit concerning with the red lights there. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! No, nope, you don't deserve to come out. What the hell? Okay, they're beating someone in there. Oh no. Okay. For some reason it wouldn't let me turn around there, so I'm guessing I'm gonna head to whatever's behind curtain number one. A toilet. Why is there a toilet? This is so it's messed up right now. I have no idea what's going I won't, on. I won't let me out of here. I won't take it. I won't want oh, I'm guessing me or my flat, uh, flatmate cellmate even. Oh, okay. I need a fix. So my guy's a junkie then, basically. Give it to me now. Give it to me. What? What? Who's here? Yes. Finally! What is this? <laughs> What's going on? Uh oh. Now my guy's tripping. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No longer the days when you could just smoke some weed or something like that. It's now like a ventilation, a, a inhaler type thing. I guess it's probably a better way of working it. And my guy's now freaking out like I am. Oh, that's horrible noise. What the hell? What? He's having a real old issue. Okay, the screaming. Guys, what is with all the... Guys! What the hell? Amir, do you remember the night we met? Nope. It's hard to forget. Is it? Oh, I'm in a club now. Brilliant. Alright, up the stairs we go. Let's 
see if we can get past these guys quick enough. I've always wondered. Are you scared? Of me, I mean. Yeah, I could see right through. I swear I can hear a background noise there, which sounds very similar to um, Simulacra. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, I guess I did. Is that okay? Is that who I'm looking for? The girl? Dude, unplug while you still can. Or not, just walk up to this uh, hovering door. Okay. Jack. Okay, and yet I'm able to walk on floating ground. Ha, huh, that's me, isn't it? Or my character. My, in sickness well. and in health, forsaking all others. To have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. Really? Oh, I was going to say, in a grass? tattoo parlor? No. Well, this seems to be one of the more stable thoughts, I guess. And now everything is going a bit to shit. Go through there. Nope. Probably can't do this one either. Nope, didn't think so. What's well, down corridor number one? A shower which I can't reach. Gonna move backwards. Gonna move backwards. I go this way instead? Am I meant to just keep going forward like this? So many questions and no answers yet. Okay, am I meant to go here and is there something I want to do with this? Ah. I don't like that noise. Uh, just keep turning it? Yep. That's not a good. The hell's this thing? Whoa, where are we gone? Okay, well, whatever was there is gone. What? Is this a flame TV? Oh, that's horrible noises. At this point, it's making me think of um, the game. Is someone in here? Oh, okay. Yeah, this, when it goes to people's memories and that, it just made me think of the game Get Even. I know I'd never finish that one, technically. And if you guys want me to pick that up again, leave any feedback in that box below. But uh, yeah, this is um, this is getting a bit weird. Is someone in this one? You can do it. Oh. I know you can. Well, I'm glad you think I can. I have no idea what I'm trying to be doing in the first place. Thank you. Uh, what's here? Let's something I'm gonna do with the TV apparently. Oh. Dear, that's and there's a bright light. Dude, I can't have you dying just yet, so stop going towards the bright light. Stop it. Stop it. Now we're back to a door. Oh, this way, okay. Open that way. That's a lot of cans on the floor. They all suddenly shut oh hello, there's a lot of scratchings on the floor too. They all gonna suddenly jump up. I mean, this is technically where 104 is, so I'm guessing this is the door I'm going to go to. Oh, that's a blood red shower. <coughs> Let's just turn it all the way. Wake up. That's a lot of, a lot of red. Oh. Get home. Get home. Yeah. It must be getting close because, oh, okay, I'm going to drown in what can only presume is blood. Am I witnessing this guy's death at this point? Because he was obviously, his guts are out the ground and things like that. I mean, you don't know how long time works for in this game when you plug into someone. Uh, turn it the other way. Oh, what the hell was that? Is 
Is that what I'm looking for now? This is clearly me pulling out. Yeah. Yep. Take your pill, dude. Take it now. Dude, take your pill. Neural interrogation aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Well, that's good, but I still witness a bunch load of crap. Yeah, looking at the bathtub, shower, I don't know. So, either he saw what was going on, or that was his interpretation of how it was all going to end, basically. Alright, let's uh, definitely take a pill. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Good, we're back to normal levels. So, what's that? Oh, I'll take you. Synchrozine collected. All right, well, let's have a look. What we got here? The voice box implant. Not uncommon among long-time feed addicts. True. I say true. I don't know what he means by feed. Artificial for heart valve. So what? That had our functions. Lousy ink. Probably government principle. So he had a tattoo on his head and was obviously in prison at some point, which makes sense because obviously the uh, memory. Medical grade inhaler, again, makes sense because he didn't sound like he was uh, in the best of shapes. Trace of control substance or SF. Okay, well, uh, that thing. Lacerated wound. Okay, life threatening severity. That. 31A, but that's not in his blood. Interesting. Okay, so we're not looking for anything here then. Open the drawer. What have we got here? Simon or Zyman um, Borensky? Maybe? I don't know who that is. Oh, there we go. And uh, nothing in that drawer. We have a couple of things over there. Uh, anything to scan with this view? No. Okay, what have we got here? Holographic frame. Here we got here. Well, well. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Helena, how do you know her name's Helena? I mean, we know we saw the girl, but I don't recall seeing a name, unless I missed something. That. Credit a credit chip. chip. Handy for storing off the grid currency. Hmm. Guessing that's not really the sort of norm in this, in this time and age. What's this, uh, another photo frame? Yep. Some strange person. Right, anything to scan this way? No. Right, anything in the covers? No. Ah. They have the same book. No. That's something bad there. Ooh, what's that? Or was that just being able to look through the door here? Yeah, it's just looking through the door. Fine. Okay. Well, that was a bit um, intense to say the least. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing a lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Could be, but based on what everyone else was saying, she's probably in the courtyard. So I guess let's go downstairs. I mean, technically we've been to the courtyard twice and we saw no one there. Oh, okay, it's getting a bit juddery then. Oh, that's a door I didn't spot before. What's over here? 
is this? Hello. What have I just come across? And I suppose the next question is, should I even be here yet? Low power. That's brilliant, isn't it? Got this guy on you. was that? Okay, so I can't open that. Is there anything I can actually do in here just yet? I'm gonna go with no. Sounds like someone's in here with me, but I don't think they are. Okay, so I can't do it. I can't open that just yet, which is fine. I don't think I was meant to go in here just yet. But if the girl ran out here... The question is, where is she? Can I go here? Ah! I can go this way before. Case logged. So we've got an artificial... Also, body. What the hell was that? The Forgotten Gallery. Hey man, I saw some of the work you've been d um, d you've done on my friend Dave, and I gotta tell you, that's some seriously wicked ink. I want to get in on some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design, maybe a skull with flames on it. That is definitely original and cliche. Uh, but get this. The flames are actually like animated, forming, forming like a spider's web in, in on my elbow. Wait, they have that kind of they have this technology where you can have like animated tattoos. That'd be pretty sick. Nah, I can understand them. Uh, I know I'm pretty out there, but with your talent and my input, it ain't nothing. Some great grammar there, though. So, like, uh, so like, drop me a line whenever you can, but whenever you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but you take your nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Don't pass ink. Dude, don't deal with him if he can't actually pay you for the job. Hello. I hope I got the right address. Sounds very, um, formal. If this is not, in fact, the jacked, in <laughs> jacked ink tattoo parlor, please disregard this message. But if you are, and I, um, if I think you are, I was told one of my one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos, the high-end kind. You catch my drift. My son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, um, but I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Please contact me as soon as you read this. What kind of tattoo are we talking about here? I know you told me not to contact you again, and I have deleted all our message history, just like you asked. I only wanted to thank you once again for the work you've done on my wife. The tattoo turned out to be a thing of beauty. She literally cannot imagine life without it. You're a real lifesaver. Rest assured, I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of the week. What kind of tattoos were they doing here? I mean, looking at these, they seem fairly standard. I mean, okay, there's a 3D-esque photo, a photo tattoo even there. Okay, so this is sort of some of the work he does. Well, that's pretty sweet. If that animates. That's a bit weird. I think that's probably my favourite, though. Oh, some more gaming. Level 4. Let's see what happens here. Right, so I need to kill... You. Oh. Um... Oh, shit. Don't kill me. Somehow I managed to... Let's try again. So I need to go kill you. Oh. No, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, 
Uh, I think I screwed that up. We'll see what happens. Yeah, not me. Okay, that's fine. Try one more time. That's it. Uh, what's this? Way upon the journey of our life, I found myself within a forest dark, for the straightforward pathway had been lost. It is the seventh day of my forcefully imposed penance, and I can already attest without any doubt that this place is in fact hell. Hell? Really? These people are dead. Dead to the their bodies still shuffle around their tiny apartments, but their minds are long gone. That's an interesting outlook on things. What's through here, I wonder? Oh, delight. A no dead body. The off today. Poor Helena. <laughs> That's a bit... 65621 oh. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Dude, you're a bit of an understatement when it comes to uh, checking things, uh, not checking things, being a bit off on the timing from. Uh, Alright, okay, so we got, we got a lot of blood. The victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me you. What, she was pregnant? Or... I mean, hormone levels? Multiple puncture wounds. A few inches deep. What is it? That. Blood? Yeah. We got over here then, so let's check. A chip. The neural implants untouched. Learn the walk. Okay. Check your wrist, uh, wrist bracelet. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. Interesting. Okay. Why would she do that then? The size and shape of the needle are consistent with the puncture wound. So basically, she was stabbed to death with her own. Uh, Inking gun, basically. Killer used the tattoo machine as a murder weapon. Huh? You know, like you do, as it were. That's another. That's another voicemail or another separate. From which you sprang. You were not made to live like brutes, but to pursue virtue and knowledge. We are all as humans prone to justify our behavior. Do not admit our wrongdoings and insist that we are in the right. I'm sure the simpletons investigating my so-called crime thought themselves justified. They could go that far, mate. That progress demands sacrifice. This. Some kind of... Wait, what did it say? Pocket indicate... Tattoo so power supply. Okay. Fair enough. That's all of those things that are scannable. Put that on the chair. Residue? A keypad? Oh. Looking straight past the thing. Let's see if we can hack this. Uh, 
Unknown. Unknown. One. Unknown. So I'm looking for something with the number one in the middle. Okay. Well, let's, let's have a quick look. Uh, what could have the number one on it? You got anything with the number one on it? No? Two thousand. Nothing there. Uh, can I twist this or anything? Nope. I can twist that for some reason. Okay, now will it let me twist it? No. Oh. Hang on. Is it meant to twist now? Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Ah, that's what I'm gonna do. Emergency override. Open maintenance bench. This sounds like a bad idea. This better be worth it. I don't think you'll find it will be. I mean, she's dead, and we're now going into a dead woman's brain. She has a computer. Huh. Press to start. Well, before I do that, I think I will call it there and we'll investigate what happens in Helena's brain in the next one. But uh, this is definitely going down a very strange and bizarre um, rabbit hole, I guess you can word it as. I mean, we've already hacked one dude's brain tonight and that was pretty messed up. And that was with a guy who was alive. Granted, he was dying, but, you know, now we're doing it in a dead girl's brain. So... I don't know how ethically correct that is. We'll see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed it as always, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the slightly longer episode this time around. I did promise I would do it. But uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And by all means, leave any comments and feedback in that box below. In the meantime, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, bye!